Hi, I'm Björn Rallare. I'm uh, from Sweden and I did the documentary I'll Come Home or Jag kommer väl hem as it is in Swedish. My documentary was shot not far from where I'm sitting right now. This is my office, the back room where I do the editing. And uh, Roland, the main character of my documentary, he lives just about 150 meters that way. Uh, so it's been really easy in, in the names of I didn't have to travel much. Uh, we just made an appointment and I just went there. The inspiration for the film. Well, I've known Roland for many, many years and every time we bumped into each other, he told me more stories about his life. And what caught my attention was the incident where the ship that he was the captain for sank in the Biscay Bay, 1972. Uh, and from there on, every time we met each other, I, he told me about where, when he uh, was digging for gold in Australia, we worked uh, with the Sami people here in Sweden. And eventually, well, I just had to do the film because uh, he, uh, his story had to be told. The production uh, took time. I mean, and it, it was easy to do since he lives really close to me. But uh, basically, it's, it's a documentary I did on top of my other work. So basically, it's I invented four months more time uh, in 2022 to be able to make this uh, film. So that was probably the hardest part, to, to find time uh, to actually do it. To film in this country, I mean, I'm an indie filmmaker. I, I don't make much money at all from making uh, documentary films. I, I work as a cinematographer. I do films for companies, uh, maybe in documentary style, and that's what uh, I actually make money from. But films like I'll Come Home, I did all by myself. I got some film funding uh, from a, a, a local film fund that covered basically 40% of the cost I had of making it. Uh, but then uh, all of the other costs and all the time I had to chip in myself. Um, and now it's uh, touring around the world in, 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 in film festivals. And I'm hoping that it will sort of, well, hope that people watch the movie and, and, and enjoy it. The main role of cinema in society. Well, it depends on if you look at, at, at documentaries or movies. Because, I mean, that's two different kind of animals, isn't it? The documentary is, 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 is a good way for, to, to raise awareness or uh, point a finger at problems and maybe possible solutions. But what I did is basically telling the story of an 82-year-old man and his life, and that's two different kinds of, of stories. Uh, so the role of cinema in society is important. I mean, we've always told stories in book form or cave paintings or what it might be. And some stories just have to be told. Some are important, some are just for fun. The age of streaming, metaverse and AI. Well, streaming is good because you can find an audience uh, maybe you don't do movies that will win an Oscar, but there's always a way to find an audience that enjoy the kind of content or movies or documentary that you make. Uh, so that's good. And the AI, I think that AI is good because you can find a way to make it work for you, to use it as uh, to bounce ideas from. What happens if I combine this and that? Uh, uh, what would the synopsis be for this story? Is, is, is there a better way to, to express this? Or maybe you get, get ideas back that you didn't think of that can sort of uh, uh, make it go in a different direction or, or something like that. And, and that way I think it's good. But AI in the terms of making all the content, that takes all the fun away. So you, you have to uh, find a way to make AI then work for you, together with you. The hybrid model, benefits or losses. Well, as I said earlier, I think it's, uh, it's good. I mean, you can find your little niche, you can find a model that works for you and, and the way you work. Um, uh, so I, I think I think I think it's good. If I have any new work in development, yes, uh, I have uh, uh, several new projects in the works. Uh, 
together with two of my friends, Niklas, Matti Lekelund and Peter Karlsson. We did a short a couple of years ago called Festival of the Midnight Sun that did really well on the small festival circuit around the globe. And one of the projects we're working on now is a documentary about a guy called Hampus Klang. He's a guitarist and founder of a Swedish hard rock band called Bullet. It's been around for 20 years. So he has this life where he's a rock and roll star touring Europe. And the other part of his life is where he actually raises chickens and competes with them in competitions, you know, like dog exhibitions, but with chickens and scorecards and everything. And he's uh, doing his own breed of chicken. Uh, it's called party queens. And of course, it's some kind of hard rock chicken with a naked neck and a nice hairdo. And it's black. If I have any more information to share, well, um, I don't know. Uh, I have the luck of working with filming uh, my on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I was a graphic designer from the beginning, but the last five years have moved more and more into filmmaking. And now it's basically only films I do. So I have the good fortune to have the cameras and have most of the things that I need to actually do film work on my spare time or if I sort of work really hard then I can make a few weeks that I can put time on my own projects. So maybe some of you out there is wondering, I mean if you're a filmmaker yourself, I'm filming with Sony AS7 III. I have two of those and a lot of lights and yada yada and gimbals and uh, whatever you need. So that's what I've been using. Uh, the whole documentary I'll Come Home is shot on uh, Sony A7S III. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think I have anything more than that. Uh, I think that was it. So uh, to all of you filmmakers out there in the world, keep on filming and making things. Don't ever stop making it. If you don't do it, who will?